Okay, everyone, we're inside UT4 at the VLT, the Very Large Telescope, and this is number four. And it's my favourite because it's got a laser and it's made some great discoveries and stuff. And it's also pretty cool when it opens. It's the best one to be inside because this telescope is about to move around loads. Now, as soon as it gets dark, you're not allowed in the telescope. It's science time. Quick crash course. The roof there is going to open. Light comes down from space. We've done this before. Onto that huge primary mirror. Bounces up to that secondary mirror. And then it comes down to a tertiary mirror that we can't see very well at the moment. The tertiary mirror is at the top of that black pylon, just, uh, in, just in there. And then, it, when it hits the tertiary mirror, it can fly off to the sides into either that instrument there at the Nazmuth, or another one over the other side. Or they can move the tertiary mirror out the way and it goes straight through that black pipe there and goes down the bottom to an instrument down there. You can just get a glimpse of it there. Anyway, this is all going to start moving around and hopefully you'll get a good look at what's going on. The reason it's moving around basically is doing a bit of a warm up, testing everything's working. The engineer's giving it a final check, make sure he or she's happy before handing it over to the scientists over in the control room so they can use it for the evening. So down there you can see the engineer in charge and she's doing a final walk around before starting everything up. We've got a bit of an audience tonight. We've got Laura who's been showing Pete and I around. Pete himself, who knows his telescopes but not used to ones this big. And a couple of other people here from the site who've come to have a look. We've talked in previous videos about how the mirror there is made of aluminium, but I was rather excited just to find out a short time ago that the secondary mirror, which you can't see unless I move over here, the secondary mirror up there is made of beryllium. That is cool. So I've got a spare camera there. Here's a bit of a glimpse of the tertiary mirror there. Now, they're also testing the dome itself, rotating it. I always find the rotation of the dome really interesting because I can sort of, if I do this, I can sort of tell the dome's rotating. But if I do that, it kind of looks like Pete's moving, doesn't it? Not the dome. There it is, moving past us. So now the telescope's tipping down towards us and we might get a better look here into the guts of it. You can see it's kind of tipping down towards me. There we go. There's the tertiary mirror. Hardly ever get a good view of that. Now the reason they're tipping it down like this before they open the, the roof is because that big mirror, the big 8.2 metre mirror, is so valuable that they don't want to open the door and have something fall in like a pebble or something that got stuck on the roof. So they want to make sure the mirror is tipped away from the ceiling when they open the roof. Which makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? That's a great view of the mirror. You can see it reflecting the roof. If it came down a bit further, it would reflect me, but it's not going to come down quite far enough for that. I can almost reach up and touch the second mirror now. Wow, great view there. Look at all the bits of dust as well on the mirror. <laughs> so there's all the, all the mirror, that's all the mirror there. And there's the hole that the light finally goes down or goes off that mirror there. I'll just come around the edge here. We should be able to see loads of the mirror. Look at that. We're just about looking at the whole mirror now. That is massive, massive. 
Just picture that light coming in, getting gobbled up by that huge mirror, zoomed up to there, to the secondary mirror, and have a look, you can see behind the secondary mirror all the motors that power that secondary mirror, made of beryllium, because that has to be constantly reshaped for the focusing as well. Apparently that's super complicated, the, all the machinery behind the secondary mirror. And then fires it back at the tertiary, which at the moment will then fire the light off to the side there. The camera doesn't do, do this justice. I can't tell you how amazing that thing looks. This <laughs> biggest piece of shiny, perfect mirror you'll ever see. Although, like I said, if I zoom in and focus, see all those bits of dust? Apparently they don't really matter. And of course, once every 18 months, it gets a whole big resurface. Do you know what? It's so silent, I didn't even notice they were opening the door at the top. They've already started. See how the mirror there is pointing out the way so that it's all safely protected? And when they finally open that, they'll put the telescope to its start position, pointing back up, straight up. I can't, I can't take my eyes off the mirror. But there you go. See the roof there? All open up. And the telescope will be, always be pointing out the gap. Those things there will open too shortly. And then if the telescope turns, like say it wanted to point the way it's pointing now, out that way, well then the whole dome would have to turn so that the aperture is pointing there as well. So farewell to the mirror, which now is reflecting the sky, as you can see. Quite a lovely purple sky. You know you're never going to own one of these. I haven't ruled it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bigger car. Yeah. Look at that, there we go. I'm so glad I got to have that look at the tertiary. Because it really gets obstructed from this angle by the bulk of the telescope there. And that's the opening. They're still going to open those things there, the wind shutters. And they also haven't actually opened all the vents yet around the dome. They sort of open them as and when they need to. You can hear some, some machine banging away. What's going on? Oh, I can see what this is. This is the vents opening. Here we go. They're all clicking open. You can even see it happening. See them opening up, letting in the cool air. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's like they've thought of everything. This little thing here is a sensor as well for the airflow through the dome, because obviously they need to keep, well, they need to make sure the air in here is really still and stable. So they use these sensors to know what's going on in here, and then they can open and close all the vents accordingly. So I better not blow on that. I might really, uh, really throw them into a mess. I'll get away from it. I'm pretty scared of touching everything in here, but the thing I'd be most scared would be getting near that mirror. Although there's no chance of that happening. Wow, that's a sight to come out to. Look at that. There's all the other ones. There's the one we were just in. So, there is UT4 that we were just in, with all its vents open. And let's see if we can get around the other side. So let's get our bearings. We start off out here. There is Paranel. 